The 150,000 strong Royal Bafo Kang Nation is led by Khosi Leruo Moletlehi and owns approximately 1,200 square kilometers of land in the Rustenburg Valley in South Africa's northwest province. This land overlies a valuable portion of the Bushveld complex, the richest known reserve of platinum group metals and chrome in the world, and royalties paid to the nation have traditionally been used to uplift the community. Today, it's Africa's time will focus on the educational program programs coordinated by the Royal Bafokeng Institute and which form part of a broader plan to make the nation's society and economy more self-sustainable. We're really trying to create an enabling environment so that the people who live here have every opportunity to thrive and flourish. The Royal Bafokeng Nation to me is a land full of opportunity and the potential to become a well-developed, sustainable area. King is actually somebody who takes a very active involvement in the management of all the institutions that we have. Having a leader who has a vision but can also communicate that vision, who can motivate people to follow him on that path, has been quite a profound thing for me to witness while I've been here. I mean, we're exposed to leaders who who are actually good, um, who are well valued, who have um, good morals, as opposed to the rest of the country, I would say, and the rest of the continent, as there are struggles here and there with leadership. There is a selection process whereby we look for those children who we believe have the greatest potential academically, but not exclusively academically, to benefit the most from a world-class education. Through our programs with the other schools, we hope to lift all the schools in the region so we're not excluding, but at the same time we're trying to give those with the greatest potential the greatest opportunity. And they will go on to achieve the things that they dream of achieving and bring back those skills to this community. The school has the concept of producing well-rounded students, so they use the holistic approach. We do many cultural activities and sport is compulsory. You're constantly being encouraged to be a leader and people see potential within you and potential within every being and you form an essential part of society. I'd like to go study international law and politics and then open up my own law firm and then I'd like to start my own political party. I'd like to study um, mechatronics. It's always been a dream of mine. I'd like to program and make my own robots and my own machines. I'd like to go outside and explore and also get some experience and then later come back and start my own robotics company here where people around will be able to be a part of it and hopefully we'll take technology to another level. The Royal Buff King Institute was actually the king's brainchild back in 2007. He brought in educators, education specialists, educational psychologists, curriculum specialists. So part of the discussion around why we needed an agency such as the Royal Buffer King Institute was to do with lifting the levels of education among the teachers. Unfortunately, due to our apartheid legacy, much of the standard of education in the country is very poor. Our continuous professional development program is coordinated through a host of teachers who we would consider to be master teachers who are really skilled at their particular subject or age range and their role is to try and connect with um, colleagues in a range of different schools who are piloting the work at Lebone in order to lift the quality of classroom craft. We're doing that with a few schools and in particular at Moromokolo where we have begun this year. Currently the program is in the grade R classroom, that's the reception year, but we hope that that will grow into all the classrooms. So we are focusing down at the bottom because we understand that unless we get it right at foundation phase level, we find our children are always playing catch up. We have 60 young people studying teaching at university and the hope is that all 60 of those will come back into our schools and go through the CPD program where they will become expert teachers.
my professional plans now is to study even further. Next year I'm planning to do my honors, maybe master's and doctorate, so that like I can help other teachers around Bafujian schools to share my knowledge and skills with them. The way the king look after his nation, like he takes education as a priority, and then through education we can fight everything. In 2011, the Royal Buffalo King Language and Literacy Programme funded and sourced trolleys and books to launch mobile libraries in all the nation's primary schools. Currently, there are 370 mobile units containing over 40,000 books. There's a very strong oral story tradition in the community and what we're trying to add to that is the culture of reading. We've had workshops where we've been able to assist the teachers in implementing the curriculum using the libraries. It's the, the, one of the most important gifts that you can give children in school, the gift of reading and the exposure to print that allows their minds to grow and let them achieve their potential in a school environment. It's very difficult for children in rural communities. Education across the world is considered to be the high stakes way in which you can catapult an environment into a developed future. As you know, platinum is a finite resource and the life of mine here is estimated at anywhere between 30 and 60 years. So we're taking it as a matter of urgency now to create skills and services and demand in this region. So Plan 35 really extends everything that we're doing in education, in health, in, in economic development, but expands it beyond our borders so that we're providing models for other communities that are traditionally governed or affected by mining, um, and that we're also really adding value to the entire Northwest province. True wealth is in human capital. And until we get to the place where our human capital is developed to its great potential, we will never be able to sustain what the, what the mineral wealth has brought us. So education is the cornerstone in terms of us achieving the aims and the goals of the Royal Bafokeng Nation.